Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Friday, January 18th, 2019. I am the Drunk Poker, and it is beer time. It is German beer time. So I went to a different LCBO yesterday. I mean, I hit a lot of different LCBOs because that's what I like to do, as well as going to breweries. But the LCBO carries stuff from across the, the pond or over the border. And I found this German beer. I'm going to butcher this, so I'm going to apologize. Inselkried. Expedition is Bearcake. Bearcake? It's a beer de champagne. Uh, beer brut. It's not a brut IPA. It's a champagne beer. The champagne of beers. You got the time. We've got the beer. German beer. I don't know. Apparently it's a very rare style. Vampel <laughs> del CBO. I don't remember what I paid for it. That's terrible, but I'll look it up and I'll put it in the Instagram post. But uh, it's a big bottle of beer. It's apparently brewed like a, a, a champagne. I don't know. Whatever. Hey, this is what's going to the LCBO. Now, this is the LCBO at the corner of 20 Highway and 53 here in Highway 53 here in Hamilton. They usually have some really cool European beers. So I go there a lot because they just bring in some stuff I don't see other places. Honestly, there's two of them. Now, one in Oslo and Maine West is good too. But let's get into this because I'm kind of intrigued. I'm going to leave the paper on it because it looks very cool. I'm guessing that's what it's supposed to look like. Oh, my God. Am I opening it the wrong way? I'm using a champagne glass because, I don't know, why not? Apparently, it's highly carbonated, but it's got, like, the Belgian yeast esters in it. I honestly don't know. Apparently, some of them can take months to be ready. It does smell fruity, I can tell you that. It is very, very carbonated. Lots of bubbles. This is a clean glass, so there's not, like, contact points. It's just bubbly as all hell. It's hard because I poured it too high, but I'm getting, like, some fruity citrus notes. A little bit of banana, maybe some spice. Okay, let's get into it. So the first ever champagne, beer de champagne that uh, we've ever had here. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, Prost. I, what's the German one? I don't know. I'm terrible at this. Uh, cheers. Let's let's try it out. Ooh. That's kind of fun. So it does have sort of a little bit of funk, a little bit of that farmyard, barnyard funk, but definitely some banana, orange, lemon, lemon a little more, a little touch of sour. Not sour, but just a touch. And then there's definitely a, like a spicy note to it. Almost peppery. But it is, in a word, effervescent. It's bubbly as hell, is what I'm saying. It's very... <laughs> it's like it's like the Belgian Miller High Life. It's five or German Miller High Life. Uh, <laughs> basically, German Miller High Life. Just really, really good. Uh, 5.6%, strong beer. It's won World Awards. I just, it's so weird. 100%. I don't know. It, it's its a craft brewery. It's a microbrewery in Germany. Um, Rog Rugen Insel Browries, Browries, a Rugel Insel Brewery. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of fun. It's fruity, it's funky. It's very bubbly. Wow, I'm actually kind of liking this. I don't know. This is probably not the right glass for it because you're not really. Because it's hard to get the nose. Now that it's down a bit, I can smell that kind of a little bit of funk in there. But, I mean, it. it come on, champagne. Beer de champagne. That's what it says in the, the untapped thing. I looked at look, the beer de champagne. It doesn't say champagne beer. It says beer de champagne. So, anyways, guys, look for it at the LCBO. Why not? Like, it's fun. I mean, that. Carb is crazy. There's nothing on my glass. It's just carb. It's all right. Cool. Um, yeah. Happy Friday. I mean, that's that's awesome. I hope you guys have a great night. Hope you're prepping for that storm if you're in southern Ontario or the northern states there. Uh, be ready. Stock up on beer. I know I have. Be safe. Take her easy. Cheers, my friends. Happy Friday. Oh, that went down real quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs>